Hi, Arnold Drake World here, PDX Flower Guy here at Carl's Bookstore. <laughs> here today that Fibonacci the guy that I do most of my work based on you'll find some of his best works in the math area versus the art my biggest inspiration when it comes to art is by far Fibonacci and when it comes to your art you probably should be thinking about Fibonacci as well and I'll, I'll tell you why and I'll make it real quick when you use Fibonacci it makes it real easy to go after the customer directly because you know who you're going after and they know who they are. And when you have those two things put together, you have a piece of work that people would not only admire, but appreciate. And that's something why it's all artists. We, that's why we do this. So people can look at our work and it's like a toy they can play with and share with their friends and everybody's happy because it's a creation that was brought forth for all of us to enjoy Fibonacci. Okay, this is for my artist friends. Three key factors. Shadows, shades, mirror imaging. Now, when it comes to those three things, that's the difference between making art and selling art. A lot of us can create and make, but it takes a whole different kind of artist to sell. While in the bookstore, I actually ran across a piece that explains that thoroughly. It shows you how to do the basic drawings. It shows you how to do the shadows and the shades, as well as it takes it to the next level. I call it the advanced level, mirror imaging. And that's what that is. Now, the book I found, and I did look at several books, wasn't just the first one I grabbed. The Complete Guide to Drawing and Illustration created by Peter Gray. I found that book to have a lot of great illustrations and some good basics on how to add shadow, shades, and mirror images. Okay, this is for my macrame stitching and knitting friends. I have tons when I'm making flowers. I always have to, well, I'll get into that later. Make a long story short, doing a little research on Amazon and eBay. And when it comes to macrame, knitting, crochet, one of the hottest materials out right now is the fiber. When I say the fiber, I'm talking about the hemp fiber. Huge. Might want to look into that as far as when it comes to making your craft because not only does it long last, it, it proves to be a very good material to work with. I've talked to a couple of people who use that material and they say it's outstanding. And while I'm on the topic, hot knots, fresh macrame ideals for jewelry, home, and fashion. I found it had a lot of easy patterns to follow. And again, the material that I would recommend would be something made from my hemp background. Thank you. couple of things for artists to be aware of when it comes to putting things together, formulating an ideal. Sacred geometry, golden ratios, basic patterns. One of the books that I found, small book, big ideals, 
Sacred Geometry by Miranda Lunday. I found it to be very explanatory as far as breaking things down, putting it together really simple. And because of that, I do recommend it. But again, if you're going to look up some subjects, sacred geometry, golden ratios, and again, Fibonacci.